Daniel R. is drinking a Berry Necessary. Berry Necessary to at least take, like, taste like berries in a can like that. Just straight dark taste. Try eating a can next time, Dan. <laughs> All right, this one's from David H. But our Pizza Rat Pilsner. Don't care about the beer? Pizza Rats are the coolest sports team name. Shame they are a Yankees affiliate. Also, Staten Island. Ew. Five stars. Marjorie gives us two stars and writes, We stopped in to try the beer. It wasn't up to standards where you're used to in the Finger Lakes. It didn't have any real drinkable beers. They're all heavy with malt and or citrus hops. All the secret's out, Marjorie. We use malt and citra hops. First one's from Tom, about curtain up. Gave it one star, says it pours nice, looks great in the glass, but after my first sip, I knew the show could not go on, nor can I. Thank you, Tom. Uh, cherry Pie Eating Contest, which is our uh, fruited sour uh, from Brett D. Some very interesting spunk we have here. If you're a fan of dainty cherry pits, look no further. There was spunk at the bottom of the can, and the smell is interesting. Taste makes up for three and a half stars. I'll take that, I guess. I guess so. I'm interested where he gets his tasting profiles from, but... Like smoke. And cherry pits. Kevin M. is drinking a Queensbridge IPA by Big Alice Brewing Company at On Tap 10th anniversary party. It very rare I can drink and reference the beer in one breathe good thing. I'm a talented son of a bitch. Three and a half stars. Not so much. This one's from John T. Full on man. He rated it at 2.75. Should be called full on bad. Terrible. How hard is it to make a drinkable New England IPA? Homebrew. Well, John, sorry our Harvest Ale disappointed you into being a New England IPA. We'll try better next time. Nick A. reviewed Brother Dwayne's Pale Ale. Um, said, top five worst beers I've ever tasted in my life. And, uh, I hope we're right up there with Coors Light, Molson Canadian, uh, High Life, Miller Light. So, not really that bad. Must have been a bad batch. Only canned three weeks ago. Color's all wrong. Malty and sort of sour. Todd Z is drinking a Four Science 10.0. It's just like a melon, citrus, pina colada. Sweet and smooth, and no alcohol present whatsoever. It just simply drinks like water. Another pizza rat Pilsner uh, from Dan M. Uh, 0.75 stars. I hated this. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Dave, a real wordsmith, gave us two stars and wrote, food good, beer, meh. Well, thanks, Dave, for taking time penning your novel to write such a detailed review. Sean gave Curtin off a 1.25 stars. Says no standing ovation for me. <laughs> Hilarious. Thank you, Sean. Uh, so Dakota A was drinking uh, Rising Pine. Sorry. West Coast IPA. Rise Pine. Makes sense. Makes sense a lot. Maybe. Apparently not. Uh, I wouldn't have got a West Coast IPA. So I'm not sure what bothers me more about this. Oh, 3.0. Uh, that she said wouldn't of instead of wouldn't have. Or that you didn't get the rise in pine as a West Coast IPA. Here's one. One star. Stouty. Um, I guess it's good that we called it an imperial stout. Kevin M. is drinking a lemongrass kolsch by Big Alice Brewing Co. at Rivercrest, NYC. I don't usually put lemon on my grass, but for this kolsch, I'll make an exception. Two and three quarter stars. I didn't really enjoy that one. Freddie B writes about our Belgian cookie ale, rated 2.5. 
So not impressed. Feels like they just put an average mainstream beer in this can. Well, we do what we can. Mainstream ain't so bad. Will S. is drinking a Curb Your Enthusiasm. Weird, purple, interesting. I don't actually know this beer, but I heard it was weird and purple. So, so yeah, that's good. Todd gave Curtin up half a star. Says that he was excited to drink this beer. However, Curtin up should have exited stage left. Thank you, Todd. Gross. Poured down the drain. Disappointing. Uh, this one is uh, from Paul C. about our Fresh Kills IPA. Uh, it's an IPA, and I do not like IPA. 0.25 stars. Thanks for trying it out. Sheila G is drinking a science of selling space junk. Tastes like a piece of hop, like in a dirt wet. Ha ha! Not bad, not good. Not intelligent. Vomit emoji. Uh, just so you know, never trade for talking cursed brewing. It's not worth the beer you would trade. This is how you go out. Fuck that junk I just poured. Always disappointed in them. Maybe you shouldn't make me. Let's take that one first. Here's another one. They gave it uh, zero stars, and the description was, I hate stouts. I guess uh, spending good money on a style of beer you don't like uh, doesn't work well for you. Uh, this one's uh, from Michelle N. About our pizza rat, Pilsner. Uh, Tastes like stale pizza crust. 2.5 stars. <laughs> Don is drinking an abuse of stout. This is good, but so not the right choice after a cheesesteak. I'm right with you there, Don. Finally, we have our Saison, time well spelt, uh, from EM. Very drinkable. Not quite goaty or filthy tasting like I had hoped for. Would drink again, though. Four stars. It's an interesting I'll take on it. Four stars is good. I'm interested in how to make the beer he was looking for. More goat. More goats. More goats. <laughs> Ryan. Uh, I think this is Google Reviews. Said, great pretzel, terrible beer. I'm seeing a theme here. A lot of our beer is not good, apparently. Sean A is drinking a coastal IPA with coconut and mango. I hate coconut. Banana boat and beverage form. I'll try using it as a sunscreen next time, Sean. Dallin R.K. is drinking a Hibiscus Goza by Big Alice Brewing Co. at Big Alice Brewing. It smells like wet dog. It tastes way better than it smells. Get the flour and sweetness and taste with a touch of salt. It's only three quarter stars. I don't even have a response for that. Would be great if I liked lime flavor. Why did you pick a lime beer? Katrina C. decided to rate her off the island a 1.0. She didn't leave a response, but Bill K. responded with an outstanding, fuck you, you're wrong, in which we responded, we'll stay on this. Looking for ski ball? Go to full circle. Here it's a bucket game. No consistency in hours of operation, and they got rid of bumper pool. The place will be closed before the spring for sure. At least it didn't hit our beer. I went to this place with a group of 12. We were all intoxicated when we showed up in a party bus. No one had puked, no one was incoherent. My girlfriend was cut off because she wasn't look at the, looking at the bartender enough. I, told, I was told by the bartender, I have been a bartender for many years and I know when you were drunk. Yes, we were all drunk. It was 3.30 p.m. It was the fifth bar. Again, to reverberate, reverberate. The above statements, everyone was intoxicated. No one was puking, no one was falling, no one was incoherent. I asked for our group money back because we were cut off before the tasting was done and told that the police were going to be called. I was then approached and physically held by a man stating, I am ex-CIA. I understand that people are consuming alcohol and get intoxicated, but you cannot kick us out because they weren't looking at you enough. 
and then threaten to party with the state police when they go to ask a question. 